Well, hi, fans, and welcome into another edition of Inside Panther Sports. I'm George Young, and we're joined today in our studio by the head coach of the Panther Boys Basketball Program, Doug Clemens. Good to see you, Doug. And basketball season is just around the corner. Hard to believe. Uh, you guys' first game is November 30th. Now, last year, we'll wrap up the last season real quick. You ended like um, – Pretty much every program in the state of North Carolina, except for four state champions, with a loss in the playoffs. Uh, kind of assessed last last year and uh, your expectations going into this season. I thought we had a really good year. Uh, we finished second in the conference overall. Um, we improved our uh, overall record. Uh, the first year I was back, uh, we were uh, sixteen and eight, and then uh, last year we finished eighteen and eight. And uh, Felt like we did some really good things with our program last year. Uh, our JV team had an outstanding season also. They finished 16-4. Uh, and four. and so we were uh, just excited about our program and uh, had uh, you know just some good things happen uh, last year for our team, for our players. Um, so you know we're looking forward to building on that. Even though we lost a lot through graduation, uh, we feel like we've got a, a good solid thing going now and, uh, and each year we'll be able to contend. I think the last time we talked to you, Coach, it was on the cusp of you winning uh, your 287th game uh, and breaking the record for most wins at Franklin. You did that, uh, so congratulations, and you added on to your win total, and that was a special moment for you last year. It sure was. Uh, you know, the community came out, and of course, I had some family there, and uh, and just being able to celebrate that, uh, it was a you know obviously a milestone for me. Uh, something I really hadn't thought about a whole lot when you start coaching. It uh, seems a long way away to do to be thinking about those type of things, but it was a nice night. I uh, uh, appreciate everybody that uh, had contributed to that, and most importantly, I can uh, you know I like to thank my players, not only present but past players, which allowed me to to do that along with the the coaches that have helped me down through the years. In high school sports, every year it's a different year. Uh, you don't choose the players that you that you have on your team, uh, at least the players that are. In school, you can choose them, but you, you can't go out and recruit. So each year's a, a different year. You lost a lot from graduation. You mentioned that. Uh, coming into this season, who are going to be some of the names that we're going to be uh, talking about and who are you going to expect to step up this year? Well, we have, uh, we have uh, Miles McClure. Uh, he was a returning all-conference player as a freshman. And uh, so he did some really good things for us. Came in strong right at the end of the season from, from about midpoint on, about when conference games started. Really had a solid second half of the season. Uh, Isaiah Johns was uh, Jay Beck's backup last year. We'll have him returning uh, at point guard. And then we'll have uh, Trey Woodard uh, will be a senior this year. Uh, he's returning off the team. He's a wing player. And then Braden Soroka. Uh, who is also a, a, a forward and, and could, could see some time at center this year. Those are the only four players we have returning. Uh, we have two transfers, uh, one from Highlands, uh, Griffin Green, and then uh, Chris Hartbarger transferred from Cherokee. So that makes up uh, kind of the six that are, that are, four that are returning, two that transferred in, and then the rest of the team will be built from uh, JV teams that are moving up. Talked about the JV there. Uh, Cy Simmons uh, moved on to uh, a different role, uh, and you've got a, a new coach for JV. Talk about the JV program. Uh, JV program has been strong under Cy Simmons the last two years. Uh, they've continued for the conference championship. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Trace Rogers will be our new coach. Uh, Trace has been uh, Coach Simmons' assistant for the past two years. He also works uh, with the girls' program. And so he's got uh, a lot of basketball experience, not only as a player, but as a coach. And then Nick Allen, uh, who's a, a community uh, coach that we have, has also been helping for the past uh, several years. But the last two years, he's been with Coach Simmons and Coach Rogers on the JVs, and he'll move up to the uh, top assistant coach there on the JV. So uh, familiar faces. Uh, nothing will change as far as you know the things that we're trying to accomplish there. But uh, feel real good about uh, both of them on our staff. And, of course, my brother Tony will uh, be my varsity assistant this year. Uh, he's been with me, you know, for several years in the past and then the, the last two years since I came back. So uh, we feel like we feel good. We, you know, anytime you can keep your staff together from year to year, 
uh, with familiar faces. I think it, it goes right in with uh, trying to build your program so that uh, you have uh, people that are invested uh, just as much as I am in uh, trying to get uh, you know, the boys program at, at a high level. Coach, each year you have to look at the players that you've got and kind of adapt your style of play uh, to the, the talents of your team. Uh, can we expect anything different out of this year's Panthers? I think, I think we'll have, I think we'll play more people. Uh, last year we pretty much settled on a, you know, seven, eight man rotation. I could see us going as deep as 10, maybe even farther this year. Uh, we have uh, as much size as we've had in a long time. Uh, we've got, uh, I think, six or seven players that are 6'4 to 6'7 range. And uh, so I'm excited about that. Um, one of the areas that we really needed to improve on is rebounding on both ends. And so I feel like uh, with that size, we can certainly expect that. Uh, I'll expect it out of our players that, that we do a better job on the boards. Uh, so uh, other than that, uh, I still think we'll play an up-tempo game. I still expect that we'll be able to press. We did some of that this summer. Uh, we had an extensive uh, summer uh, schedule this year. We played 18 games this summer which is almost a season, and uh, did well as far as winning and losing, but saw some really good things out of our young players. Got to see the two transfer kids all summer long, so it won't be like we're just you know, like starting from scratch. We've, uh, we've put a lot of time into it already, so uh, we're looking forward to it. You start on October 30th. That's your first official practice. That's what the NCHSAA allows, and then just about a month on November 30th, you will uh, tip it off, the 2000. 19-2020 season uh, for the Panthers begins on November 30th. And uh, Coach, as uh, we look ahead into January and February, that's your conference season. Talk about the conference. You finished second last year. Uh, who are going to be some of the teams that we're going to look for, hopefully for the Panthers, to be contending with for that conference championship? I think uh, most teams were – Excuse me. Most teams were hit pretty hard with graduation, um, ourselves included. Uh, but and so I feel like in that it will open the conference up. Uh, Hendersonville has been a pretty dominant team the last two years. Uh, the first year I was here, we were able to split with them in the regular season. Last year, they were the only team that we weren't able to to beat in the conference. So uh, that being said, they have two two returning uh, all conference players. Uh, their point guard and their shooting guard, uh, so they'll have an, uh, a nice little, uh, you know, uh, set of players to build around. Uh, I feel like they'll be a different team. Uh, they lost uh, the Inslee kid and the Beaker kid. Both of them were dominant players in our conference last year, <clears throat> especially with Beaker being, you know, six foot nine and and just really didn't have a, a chance to match up with him because of the size. But with him graduating along with Inslee. I feel like everything will kind of come back to level as far as uh, what teams we can look at. Uh, Smoky Mountain lost heavy. Um, Pisgah lost heavy. Again, Bavard, East Henderson. I feel like it's a, a wide open race. Uh, I feel like that we, we have enough uh, talent and uh, that we can contend uh, certainly with any of those teams. A lot of our, uh, it'll be kind of what uh, some of our other teams have faced this fall. Uh, with not many seniors, um, we'll be having to put things together and piece things together and counting on the underclassmen for a lot of things. And uh, that's always kind of a scary thing as a coach. Uh, I, I feel like the talent's there, but sometimes nine in and nine out, you really don't know what you're going to get. So uh, we'll be working hard to bring those kids along. And uh, the main thing is just how quickly we can form into a team. I feel like individual talent is there, but if it doesn't mesh, then it may take us a little longer to see the results. But I think in the end, I think we'll, uh, I think we're going to be successful. Well, Coach, uh, appreciate you joining us today for Inside Panthers Sports and uh, basketball season will be here before you know it. It is, and uh, it's a fun time. I hope the community will do as always that they'll come out and support us, and we appreciate what y'all do in broadcasting our games. All right, that's going to wrap things up for Inside Panthers Sports. My thanks to head coach Doug Clemens of the boys' basketball program. Thanks for tuning in here on YouTube and Facebook.